You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Queen, Sheer Heart Attack, with Roger Taylor on vocals and rhythm guitar. How do I know that? Because Mr. May told me when he was in here, and I didn't realise that. Great track. I thought they were taking the piss out of the Sex Pistols, but apparently uh, Roger Taylor was ahead of the game more than the others. That's from the horse's mouth, Mr. Brian May. We're here with Yoshiki from X Japan. How are you? Very good. And you? I'm good. I'm good. How was your How was your uh, gig at Coachella? The first show we played last Saturday. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, we are very. I was like a little bit nervous because you know we didn't know what kind of crowd is going to come to our you know yeah our, our show, but was very warm, very amazing. So, yeah. Now, was you on at the same time as Beyonce? Yes. <laughs> was that a problem? Um, I wouldn't call it a problem. You know, like a few days before the schedule was released, like that was actually actually last week, I guess. Say so you're headlining Mojave Tent. Like great. Then, then <laughs> playing exactly the same time when Beyonce is playing. Yeah. Thought, but oh but but also two probably completely different audiences, right? I people who would like you, do you think would like Beyonce? I think so. I mean, also the I wanted to see Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, we are supposed to be playing like a few few bands, a few groups before Beyonce. They was like, I'm, I'm gonna finish our, you know, I'm gonna rock hard, get drunk, and they watch Beyonce. That was my plan. Yeah. <laughs> but now playing the same time. And so. next week is going to be the same time as well, I think right? so. I think so. Ah. Yeah. And then what do you do after that? You go in uh, touring? Then, yes. Um, well, I'm going to be also the um, uh, finish recording, you know, our new album. I mean, first album in 22 years. Yeah. Yeah. Are you... Uh, so it's 22 years since you guys have played? Haven't released any album. Yeah. Yeah, that's the... Do you think... Are you, st you still big in Japan? Uh, pretty big, yes. <laughs> so they will... They, they will um, it'd be a big thing for, for you to go back to Japan and, with a new album. Yes, about 10 years ago. Actually, exactly 10 years ago, we did a reunion show. Uh, because, you know, before that, a band broke up. You know, vocalist um, got brainwashed, guitar player died. When you... I saw that in your documentary. That's just being released as well, right? The documentary? Yeah, called We Are X, yes. And the, well, how do you see that? Is it on, uh, is it going to be... Uh, it's on, on, on Hulu. Hulu, and yeah. And also iTunes. iTunes, iTunes and, yeah. Yes, yes. I, when you said that, you said he was brainwashed. What do you mean by that? He got brainwashed and joined the cult. Oh. Yeah, so then he left the band. Yeah. That was like, yeah, over 20 years ago. Some, something like 20 years ago. And and what is he still in that? Is he still in the uh, somehow the cult? He, somehow he woke up ten years later and said, "Oh, what the hell have I just? What have I done for ten, ten years?" Actually, it's a little more complicated. Actually, he's a cult leader. Cult oh, leader. Oh, he's, he he was the boss after no, a while. No, no, he, no. He's he's a cult leader. The told cult leader. Him, yeah, yeah, told him to reunite the band, so he that he can contribute more money to the leader. These bloody cults, they're all the same. You're they crazy. all want your money and they just want to have sex with all the birds. Then he came back to me, in the Toshi, the lead vocalist, yeah. say, I want to reunite the band. I knew something was wrong, but as long as he want to get together, because he was in, also, we grew, I grew up with, I met him when I was four years old. Anyway, yeah. I was, I was going to, I was like, maybe he's going to wake up someday when we start playing stadium shows around. So we got Tokyo Dome three nights, reunion shows. Um, then a few years later, we started doing world tour. Then he woke up. So, <laughs> yeah. And, and but he didn't come back. Uh, he 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 contributed like fifteen million dollars or something. He, his money didn't come back, but his brain came back. His money didn't come back. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> yeah. Then I think he sued sued that cult group. I think. Ah. Yeah. I'm I'm always fascinated by cults. Really? You know, gurus. I see. Good one. Yeah. Have you do you watch TV a lot? I do. I mean, Netflix. Once, once in a while. Have you seen the documentary uh, Wild Wild Country about that Indian guy? Okay. Who who was in the India 
Then he mm. moved to Oregon, bought a bunch of acres. They're just fascinating to me. Cult, okay. Cult, you don't find it fascinating? Cult? Well, <laughs> it depends, you know, because I had to face that kind of like uh, band broke up everything because of that, you know. So it was... But you replaced him, or you broke up when he left? We broke up. Also, right after he, jo he joined the cult group, um, my lead guitar player... Uh, he killed himself, right? Well, since, uh, people, some people say that, I, but I don't think he killed himself. It was an accident, but he passed away, regardless. Yeah, so, yeah. So, then, you know, it took almost 10 years. I mean, I mean 10 years later, vocals came back, and then so we did a reunion show. That was exactly 10 years ago. Then we used hologram of guitar player. Yeah. Then we got reunited. The 10 years from uh, then now, we are doing Coachella. Actually, we did a double hologram, this uh, late guitar player and late bass player. Now, when you do a hologram, is it all the whole set or just a couple of songs? A couple of songs. Yeah, because you get, you get fed up with it after a while, right? Uh, well, I don't... Because I would love the Sex Pistols to go out in holograms. <laughs> Just, just see you later. <laughs> Play the whole set. By just the show way, me the money. By the way, I'm a Sex Pistols a huge influence. You know, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of Sex Pistols. Yeah, yeah. I met, uh, yeah, like we we spoke. I met you before. That's right. You did I meet to, you? Did I meet you more than once though in the valley? Did I meet you before? I think you came to my house just one time. Yeah, we we did a magazine interview together there. Yeah, that was it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I was watching the documentary. <laughs> and he's he's in like a, a big white like was that BMW or something? Yeah, BMW. Yes. And I'm looking at the driveway. I'm like, that driveway looks familiar. <laughs> and it was where I met him because he came to yeah, that yeah place. that's so right. bizarre. I I saw this um, these videos on YouTube mm -hmm. a few years ago of like twenty guys who dress like you okay playing god save the queen live. Oh yes what was that actually i organized the uh, rock festival that's 2016 october so it's, it's like a year and a half ago yeah they gather about hundred thousand people you know attendance they had 56 bands played that festival yeah then at the end all the bands came to the stage I said, we're going to play God Save the Queen and like in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there was how many guitar players were playing it? Uh, a lot. 30 or something. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I play the guitar too, by the way. That's excellent, man. That was yeah. great. So, uh, how long did this, this uh, documentary is, is made over a span from when you begin it, from the beginning, right? Yes. Yeah, starting like, you know, how Toshi, the vocalist and I met. We met when we were four years old. Yeah. Yeah, kindergarten. Yeah. And uh, didn't someone else die as well? My father. Your father? He took his own life. Did he? When I was 10, yes. And do you have, do you have you, looking back, did your mother ever tell you anything or she keeps it quiet? Did she say he was depressed before he killed himself? I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even you find out. You were 10, right? I was 10, yeah. Yeah. I was I started playing piano when I was four years old, classical piano. There was just, you know, he was a great father. Then he just passed away when I was 10 years old. And I didn't know he took his own life. Yeah. I found out afterward. Your, your mother didn't, she no, didn't want to learn. she didn't tell me. Now, in hindsight, if you were a parent, you think it's a good idea to tell the truth or to, to hide it? Good when, question. When you're that young. Uh, when I was 10, I, don't, I didn't think I could take that in fact. Would you, you know, have even understand what killing yourself was? I'm sorry? Would you have even understand at 10 years old what killing yourself meant? 10 years old is a really interesting age. You kind of know what's going on in the world. Yeah. At the same time, you're still like, you know, very young. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I were my mother, I would have told the truth or not. Yeah. Right. She told me that she got, you know, he got heart attack. Heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then I overheard from my, you know, people like uh, my uncle or something talking about it. Then I like overheard it and I went nuts. Then I started, then that's the point I started, you know, uh, rocking. Yeah. Yeah, from classical music to rock music. Well, there's always some positive with negative, mm -hmm. you I, know? Mm -hmm. I had a horrible stepfather. 
Yeah. But it made me want to rock. That's true. You know, That's true. there's always a positive with anything negative. Yeah, at that moment, I started listening to Kiss, listening to Sex Pistols, listening to Led Zeppelin, yeah. listening to Queen. Yeah. 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 And uh, your band kind of was the... Uh, you kind of changed it over in Japan, right? It was very polite. Everything was polite. I remember playing at the uh, Budokan mm -hmm. in 96. Yes. And we did. We played there three nights, and it was always f <laughs> funny to me how people would sit there and they'd all clap afterwards. <laughs> there was no jumping around. Right. And that, that's kind of changed now, right there? Is, yeah. it, is it more wild in general and it's accepted? Or is there still the old, the old guard that don't like chaos changed completely it has right yeah now you go to tokyo you see red hair spike hair and uh, everything yes very yeah it's changed and you you guys would you say you were responsible for that kind of contributed that kind of thing yes yeah i think so because here it was acceptable to be crazy it was just normal mm -hmm. there's that tradition in japan it was it was we are a very conservative country like yeah. 30 years ago so 30 40 years ago but especially past 20 years just you know changed a lot i guess is there is it changed as far as is there a lot more crime there i don't think so i don't know if crime rate went up or not i yeah. don't think so it's uh i think people are still polite but when we go to uh, people go to rock concert they go nuts they go nuts <laughs> yes and yes. it's accepted. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. So who would, you, who would you say your most favorite band is? Are you talking about in general? Yeah. Like, so I would say... Motley Crue? I'm not really into... I mean, I, I, mean, I love Motley Crue, but we are not like more like a... More like Led Zeppelin? A, yes. Influenced by punk rock, two Sex Pistols. Yeah. I'm not saying that because you're in front of me. But I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, I would say, David the Boy. Yes. I, yeah. He's, I, the, he's the king of all kings to me. I was influenced by him a, a lot. I mean, I met him too, you know, before. You did? I saw there's a picture in there. You're sitting, you're standing all like that. Yeah, Where yeah. was that, in Japan? In Japan, yeah. We did an interview together on the radio show. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you find him interesting? Completely, yeah. What a lot of people don't realize about him is, was his sense of humor, though. He's very, yeah. He has very light, mm, completely. good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people see him as this, like, ugh, mysterious yeah. dude, but... He's also a fashion icon, this, you know. He's a, yeah, it was yeah. a shame. He kind of like made me realize they're another world. So we are already popular in Japan at that time, but I decided to go overseas because probably him. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you did you was there any interest in other countries other than Japan for ex Japan? Um, or we, did you feel like you had to kind of break it? We still have to break uh, a lot of countries and then, you know a lot of things. But we did a North American tour back in two thousand ten. They also we played Madison Square Garden. Uh, uh, that's the big thing in in the documentary. Yeah, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. That's where I that's where I had to stop this morning. Okay, okay. So I didn't know what happened. Don't tell me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not going to do. Then you know, last show uh, was March uh, last last year March. Um, we played uh, London Wembley Arena. You did. Yeah. Um, then I had neck surgery. Actually, right before London Wembley Arena, I played. I, I also played classical music too. Still, um, Carnegie Hall um, with Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra. Actually, so. Was that fun? Year. Yeah, I, I like to do both classical music and rock music to, I, I don't know, to be kind of sane because, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So you learned you learn how to play piano by writing, right? Yes, I, yeah, I, when I also compose music, I just write on the paper. Just, I don't use any music instrument. Yeah. So I'm a kind of classical guy. Even when I compose rock music i write every single note the drum and the guitar and bass and everything that's crazy yeah it's a, I'm a little strange is it because i because the, the story is is like when someone learns by writing then they can't jam they don't know how to jam unless they read 
I, I, I can jam. I can do both, but I prefer writing a score because when you write a score, you, there's no limitation. You can ring any instruments, any range. So when you play something, even piano, drama, you know, guitar, it's somehow limited. So yeah, yeah. Now, when you write in Japan and it's on the paper, is it the same notes as they is it is in the Western? Yes, yes, yes that's universal. <laughs> that's so that's universal. Yes, yes. okay. <laughs> I just that, that's a great question. Actually. <laughs> oh, well, you know, because the, the writing's so different. That's right. That's you know? right. Yeah, in Japan, we read from the. Yeah, it's very different. We're going to play this. We're going to play X Japan, Born to Be Free. We're here with Yoshiki from the X Japan band. Mm -hmm. And you're listening to Jones's Jukebox on KLOS. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on KLOS. That was X Japan, Born to Be Free. Is that new? It's pretty new, yes. It's going to be a part of our new album. It's going to be released yeah. soon. Yeah. When are you going to release that? I would say late summer or early fall yeah, this year. Yeah. So have you moved there? You basically live here now? Yes, I go back and forth between Tokyo and Los Angeles a lot. But yes, I live here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you're playing the um, Coachella again this Saturday? Yes. Same yes. time as Beyonce? <laughs> yes. And uh, do you think you might have any uh, special guest play or something? Yes, we do. Beyonce is going to get up with you. <laughs> but he's a dear friend of mine. Then very amazing, very impactful. So we would know him. I think so. If you yeah. said his name. Yeah, know? completely. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows him. I know who it is. <laughs> but I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how can you hint? Can you hint? Um, Very shocking. Very shocking. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Cielo Drive. What's that? Well, I don't want to tell you because. Okay, 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 okay. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I see. Okay. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I'll tell you okay. when we uh, get off. Okay. Um, yeah, also, you know, we're going to have two holograms that, you know, uh, the show, the Coachella show, you know, to. Your oh, bass player, your bass player. Bass player as well as guitar player. Did he die the bass player? He, yeah, he, bass player took his own life. You you kicked him out of the band first, yes. though, right? Yes, yeah, I kicked him out of the band. Because he was just partying too much? Well, there's a, a lot of reason. But 18 years later, we got reunited. Then, yeah, then following, yeah. He, he, he killed himself? Yes. Wow, so that's two, two, yes. two people in your band killed themselves. Well, the one, he, you know, he, guitar player, I don't think he's killed himself. But, right, right, yeah, but, right. But regardless, they are dead. Yeah. You talk about, you talk, you talk about suicide in, mm -hmm. in, in, in the documentary a lot. Yes. And I like the fact that you said that that, that is an, an option. That it's selfish. Yeah, I, I mean, especially my father thing. You know, I don't get me wrong, I love my father, but it was so hard, you know, if somebody, you know, you, my father killed himself and then... He, we are kind of left, you know, over, I mean, we didn't know what to do. So when, that's why I'm very, basically very against suicide, you know, because Japan, you talk about die with an owner, you know, harakiri or something like this. That's uh, the big sword, right? You, yeah. I mean, during the war or something, people, you know, also kamikaze is a part of that kind yeah. of like, you know, uh, die for your country. The emperor, like die for the emperor. Actually, I composed the emperor's uh, th piano concerto. Uh, his uh, reign of uh, ten years of re reign. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, so I mean, you know, love, love country is good, but uh, killing him, you know, I, I mean, committing suicide is. I, I I can't I can't. A lot of people kill themselves, though. It seems more more than more than ever. I want to try to help those people who, you know, because I experienced, you know, through my father, through my members, yeah. something. I I want to give people courage to live. Yeah, that's that's why I mean, I still exist, and we made the film called X, and that's that's yeah. playing still. 
my philosophy is, what's the rush? <laughs> Just wait till you die, and then you'll see what's happening. I see. I don't want to shorten it, you know? That, that, that's better. That's much better. Because you're going to get there anyway. Mm -hmm. just, just, just wait. That's true. Yeah. Do you think there is kind of an afterlife thing? Um, or it's just, boom, lights out. That's it. A good question. I don't know. You know, a lot of people in Japan believe in reincarnation. Yeah. And then, yeah. Hmm. I don't know about this. I thought you'd have the answer. Yeah. Never mind. We're going to visit the Duke. When we come back, we're going to pick your brain a bit more. Okay. Um, you got something, Shovel? Yeah, this portion of Jonesy's Jukebox brought to you by Pachanga Resort and Casino. We're here, we're, we're here with Mr. X Japan, Yoshiki. And when we come back, we'll do some more uh, talking. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Eddie Cochran. Something else, beautiful version. Can't get better than that one. And we're here with uh, Yoshiki from X Japan. How are you? Very good, very good. Do you get nervous when you play? Not really. No. Very excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's like last show, I last Coachella show last Saturday, I jumped into the crowd. You did? <laughs> yeah, I did. And did you have? A, did was there a lot of people who were there for you, or, or they there out of curiosity? Um, um, both of them. You know, some people are curious. You know, some fans showed up. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. did you sing in English or Japanese? A uh, combination, actually. Majority of the songs are in English, but there are a few Japanese songs. Yeah. So, like, let's say the old the old songs mm -hmm. when you're singing in. Japanese. Yes. When you come here, do you translate into English? We made some songs. We made both versions: English version, and Japanese version. Uh, when we did the first North American tour, um, then we did English version. But some fans asked us to sing in Japanese version. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we decided to do a few Japanese songs too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go back big the bigger uh, reunion when you go back to Japan. Mm -hmm. When, when are you going to do that? Uh, we just played a few shows, you know, we played Tokyo Dome again, you know. Yeah. yeah. So far, I played 18 times, so might as well to do two more and then to make it 20. <laughs> how many does that hold? Uh, how many people can you get in the Tokyo? Tokyo Dome, 55,000 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 55,000, 50,000, something. Depends on the stage set. What, what else do they use that place for? I uh, usually baseball. Oh yeah, yeah, baseball stadium. Yes, and, and it's really popular baseball. Yes, in Japan. Yeah, completely. Wow. Yeah. Do they still do the uh, the big guys who wears the nappies? What's that? The wrestlers. The, wrestlers? the, the big dudes who wear the wrestling. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know the the traditional Japanese. What's it called? Sumo. Sumo. Sumo wrestling. Sorry, sumo. Yes, yeah. very popular. That's still popular. Completely. Yes, actually, sumo champion, wrestler champion, is a good good friend of mine actually. They're like they're like uh, they're like rock stars, right? Completely, <laughs> even and, more popular. <laughs> and what do they do? Do they just eat? <laughs> they seem like how, how do they get big like that? They don't see, obviously don't seem like they yeah. work out in the gym. Well, they work out. They do. Yeah, I've heard they don't eat during uh, in the morning or you know uh, lunch. Or they just keep all those and eat a lot night time. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get big. If you want to become like that, you know. I'm, all, I'm halfway there. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, do they, do they um, like, uh, is that like an art form, what they do? Because it's, it's over quickly, right? Yeah, yeah, because just like a second, just, just, they just you know, bump, bump each other. You just got to get them outside. The, the loser is the yeah. one who gets thrown outside the, mm -hmm. the line. Yeah, but it's very, it's supposed to be very deep. You know, I went to see only one time, you know, but. It's very interesting. Now, do they do they not live that long because they're so big? Um, like, do they have heart attacks? I, I don't know. I mean, some some small wrestlers become thin after they retire. Wow. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. has there ever been like a rock band? <laughs> small wrestler rock yeah. band. <laughs> that would be good, I think. Oh God, <laughs> that'd be interesting. <laughs> I think I think that could be the next big thing. <laughs> Really? Well, who knows? I almost can't. I'm drum can't 
fit on the drum set. You'd never get a guitar around you. You'd have That's to have the guitar right there, you know. Yeah. Interesting. I've never so, thought about it. So, um, what's 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 uh, what you're hoping for in the next year or so? Well, so you know, uh, we are lucky to be part of a cultural festival. You know, um, I'm really glad the the organizer chose us. So you know, we've been doing, we've been rocking for a long time, but um, we like to come here and do North American tour. We want to be breaking to American market. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, 20, 30 years ago, people say there's no Asian band or Japanese band yeah. can do this. Yeah. But I mean, these days, social media and everything, the world is changing and people can, I mean, I, I live in America over 20 years. I think people can accept, I hope, you know, so. Uh, that's what we like to do after losing members and then you know coming back i don't take anything for granted i'm enjoying every single step yeah then, yeah uh then i still believe nothing's impossible i said our past is very dark but depends on how you live in the future you can't change your past so that's what we are trying to do have you ever thought of having a child that's my next step after making the album. I have to finish the album first. Then, why not? I would like to. I don't have charity yet. Yeah. But I would like to. Do you have any family left? Yes, I have a... Is your mum mom, still alive? Yes, she's alive, yeah. You talk to her? Mm -hmm. Once in a while. Yeah, because, she, yeah, she doesn't speak English, but, you know. Only what she can say is, I'm Yoshiki's mother in English. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a good mother? I'm Yoshiki, my, you know, Yoshiki's mother. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what she says. Oh, yeah. Well. It's, only it English seems difficult knows. to say, to talk Japanese. It seems difficult if you're a Westerner. Yeah, the grammar is kind of different. You know, we spoke opposite or something like that grammatically. Yeah. It was hard time. I had a hard time learning English. Yeah. We came like 20 years ago in Amer to America, come, came here and we got bombarded by the journalists. Like, why did you come here? You don't even speak English. I like, that's right. Yeah. Want to learn. So. Yeah. What is it with Japanese people that can't pronounce R's? What but, is that? Why is that so difficult? Because L and R in Japanese is the same word called la li do de lo. So that's like we pronounce in between. So I'm still having a hard time saying <laughs> Coachella or Coachella. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I had to, because I had to scream, what's up, Coachella? And that was last Saturday. I had to make sure I don't pronounce R should be L at the end, right? Yeah. So actually I had the English lesson before, right before Coachella's show. It's yeah. A, it's a I always, uh, I always, because it don't matter how hard you try, like you were saying, mm -hmm. it's like, uh, you can't, no one can say it, the R's. It's really hard. So you just said it then, it's really hard. Really hard. <laughs> really. really. It's really, really hard. <laughs> Well, come to Coachella, everybody. <laughs> Gonna have a great time with the rock and roll. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pronounce right the next Saturday show. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. Um, we gonna, we, what are we doing? We're knocking it on the head? Okay, I think so. David Bowie, five years. We're going to play that? Let's play Jade. Okay. Oh, Japan. Thank you. Yeah. Take it away, then. You've been listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was X Japan. Jade was Jade. the name of that. Yes. It was the name of that track. Yes. Um, thanks for coming by. It's nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. Good luck at Coachella. Yes. And good luck with all, all what you're up to. Thank you. Thank I you. I wish you success. I'm going to play Sex Pistols copy cover again. Are you? Yeah. What one do you like doing? What's your favorite Sex Pistols song? Uh, God Save the Queen, yeah. Back in the UK. Yeah. yeah, it's like kind of a Bible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck, mate. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank the man. You. Uh, tomorrow, we got John Cooper Clark. I'm looking forward to that. Gary Moore is up next, and Mr. Shovel's got some info. This portion of Jonesy's Jukebox brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Quinn Martin. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.